That's for the conference championship. That's the conference championship. Great job getting it done. Let's go. It's another huge week. I'm going to demand even more during the practice. Alright, alright, do not take that team lightly next week. Welcome to tonight's game between the Immaculate Conception Eagles and the Cedar Grove High School Panthers. The Cedar Grove Panthers were determined to run back a third straight conference title in hopes of beating Immaculate Conception. Despite the history between these two schools, Immaculate Conception was a very different team this season. The Panthers defense forced Immaculate Conception to a 3 and out on the first drive. <laughs> Junior Nick Iannico went around the right end and blocked the Lions punt which set up the Panthers with great field position. Panthers offense looked to capitalize after all ran smooth, but after a fake jet pass, junior Nick Iannicone was picked off in the end zone. The Lions nearly took an early lead, but the play was called back after an illegal blindside block. Neither both offenses could tally any points in the first quarter. Quarterback Steven Paradiso was briefly injured on the drive, and Thomas Gabriel stepped in to finish the job as he delivered a strike to wide receiver Nick Iannacone. Like all season long, the Panthers' defense continues to deliver turnovers. After a few plays later, senior Edmund Dakar came up with a miraculous diving catch, which set up Nick Iannacone's second touchdown of the game.
After a scoreless third quarter, Nick Iannacone came up with an acrobatic catch and tiptoed into the end zone for his third score of the night. However, the Lions refused to go down and still had a bit of life left. Their Wildcat receiver took off for a huge run to put them on the board for the first time. Paradiso found senior Matt McAuliffe on a screen pass. He rumbled for 34 yards and fumbled at the 20, opening the door for a Lions possible comeback. Senior defensive lineman Eric Parks refused to give up on the play and hustled 40 yards downfield for a touchdown saving play. On two consecutive plays, senior captain James Canarelli stepped up with tackles behind the line of scrimmage and broke the line's momentum. Junior Lucas Droge committed a pass interference call, which gave the Lions another opportunity to score. However, Nick Iannacone came up with a game-sealing interception, which gave the Panthers their fourth straight victory.